What's up, family? We are at the mall again. It is March 2nd, and it's a Tuesday, so you already know it is my day off. Um, but we're at the mall because today is Thomas's birthday, not the little one, the big one. And just wanted to get him like a gift really quick. Um, you can bring your dog in the mall, I guess. I'm sorry, I was people watching, but it is hot. Like we still have snow on the ground, but it is mad hot outside. I brought a jacket. Hold on. I brought a jacket just because I felt like I should show the snow on the ground some respect and not act like it doesn't exist and wouldn't put a little chill in the air. But honestly, it's not doing much of anything at all. Like, it's just there. It's not melting. It's not cold. It's just the snow is there and the sun has come out to play. Like, it didn't just snow on and off for a week and a half but whatever okay let me take this jacket off got my mask on i have no idea what to get him like he is the hardest person to shop for because whatever he wants he buys himself and so it kind of leaves gift giving kind of obsolete because everything he wants he already has and he got it himself so what is there left for me to get you sir so we're just gonna go in here and look and find something like i'm not gonna get him anything Colts or football or basketball related because again he gets all that mess himself and I feel like that's normally what we always get him so we're just gonna have to get real inventive and innovative and resourceful up in here but he also wants to go to an early dinner but so he's picking the boys up from school and then they're going to get haircuts and then worse he wants to go to the Olive Garden of all the restaurants he likes the Olive Gardens so we're doing that so I don't have much time to look, but I don't have to rush either because I don't have to pick up the boys. But anyway, let me stop talking and get in this mall, see what they have to offer. And I'm also hungry. I didn't even have lunch. I think they have a, um, not a Chipotle, but a Chick-fil-A in here. So go see what they have and eat myself some food. Stuff in there was like stuff for children, like mad. Thank you. It was all like, who wants to dress like they're homeless? Like everything had holes in it, rips in it. Yeah, it's a no. Big now. Then they tried to tell me like, oh, how old is he? That's how old I am. This is in style now, some brand called Alabasas. Never heard of it before. But their clothes were entirely too expensive to make you look like you homeless.
like $100 for a sweater full of holes and roots. Absolutely not. show that to y'all i actually went into jc penny and i also went into burlington co factory to see what they had but they didn't have much of nothing um so i've just decided like i was on the phone with my mom just point that out that's why you guys didn't get to see the other stores that i went into um but yeah burlington and jc penny didn't have nothing and I went into JCPenney because he had just ordered some stuff from there. So I was like, okay, he likes this store. But I didn't see anything that was like worth getting. So, um, we are now at Walmart. And no, I am not buying him anything from Walmart. We're just going to get a good old gift card. And I didn't know where else to go to get gift cards other than Walmart. So that's why we are here. So we're going to get him a gift card because this is just where we find ourselves like instead of wasting money on stuff that he's not going to wear or he's not going to use just give him money and he can go get it himself so we're going to go into walmart get a birthday card get a gift card and then i have gift boxes at the house we're going to take the little shirt i did get him a shirt i didn't show you guys so i got him that shirt that says um back and body hurts i got him that shirt as a joke because you know he's older than me and i always say that he's old and whatnot so i'm gonna put that shirt in the gift box and then underneath that shirt put the card and the gift card but just gonna give him that shirt as like a little jokey joke but yeah that's what he's getting for his birthday and then of course we're going out to dinner and this big hair is 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 driving me insane. Like insane. Not only does this hair like tangle like nobody's business, but it's hot. Like it went from being just warm to downright hot out here. So let me get in the store before he calls me and he's ready to go out to dinner. Because by now he should have picked up the boys from the school and they should be close to getting their hair cuts finished. If not already be done and be home so let me get this get it over with put my little mask back on oh I can't wait to take this out I kind of found a hairdresser like I don't found her on Facebook I don't know if she's like her pictures were nice so I'm just hoping that she does good work. But honestly, at this point, I'm so sick of my hair. I'm just going to take a chance on her. But let's go in the store. This isn't for him, but this card is cute.
Bam, gift cards. We'll just do a Visa gift card. Keep it simple. Well, you can spend it on whatever you want. Isn't it cute for my bubba? Alright, Dre, that's not what you're in here for. Get the gift card and get out. Get the gift card and get out. Ooh. These scarves are really cute. They have like the little furry tassel. My windows were cracked. I scared the old man that was walking by. Sorry. But we're done. Got the gift card. Got the card. And I know y'all are probably like, this is what I was thinking to myself. Like a lot of the cards had really nice sayings in them. And I picked the one with like the most generic, like nondescript, non-sentimental meaning card but listen okay i know my husband and he does not savor cards he is the type where he like feels it through the envelope to see if there's anything in it or if it feels like it's thick and there's money in it and if he doesn't feel that thickness or the imprint of a card he doesn't even open it i kid you not i would never lie the man does not even open the card the boys had got him a father's day card what was that like three three years ago got him a father's day card he never opened it we have moved twice now and that card has moved with us unopened so and also not only that but like the cards with the really nice sayings in them they were like almost five dollars and the card that I got him was only $3. Like it was $2.97. So I'm not about to spend $5 for a card that you're not even going to open and look at. Or are you just going to open to get the gift card inside? No. I'm going to take this little $3 card with its very nondescript message and your gift card. And happy birthday, sir. So yay. Gift. Let me go home now. So that I can see exactly when he's trying to leave for dinner. Because they're probably already at the house. And they're probably going to blame me. Talking about I'm late and whatnot. And they was waiting on me. Lies. And we're home. Well, I'm home. They're not here yet. So I'm guessing they're still getting their hair cut. But. I'm going to start putting his little gift together. And this is what I'm wearing today. It's like a. I don't know, I would have to, like it's not really fancy, but you don't have to get dressed up and fancy for Olive Garden, right? Like it's just Olive Garden. It never struck me as like a place that you get all dressed up for. So I'm just going to keep it super casual and keep what I got on. sticky stuff off and I used to feel bad about giving him gift cards for gifts but I got over that like 
real quick because I told y'all he already buys everything he wants so it's not like he needs anything and so gift cards saves me money he gets what he wants instead of having to like grin and bear it like you know how when somebody gives you a gift and you don't really like it you know good and darn well you're never gonna wear it but you still gotta sit there and be like, oh, it's so nice. Thank you so much. But yeah, don't buy that time for all the fakeness. So, gift cards is where it's at. Get what you want. But now, was I supposed to keep this inside of this little thing? Because where do I write how much money it has on it? Hmm. Where do I write that? I don't know. I guess in the card. I'll just write it in the card. So, you guys didn't see. I gave you the thumbs up. But this is the card we got. Good laughs, good talks, good times. And then on the inside, it just says, Wishing you all good things all day long. Happy birthday. Bam. Short, sweet, to the point. It's his kind of card. So, I guess just inside of the card, I'll just write how much it has in it. Yeah. Oh, and I kind of want the boys to sign the card, but then I don't want him to see everything. Huh. What to do, what to do. I don't know. I guess I'll sign that. We'll sign the outside of the box. So he'll know it's from us. <laughs> Did y'all just see that? Like, I went to go put the card in the envelope and the gift card flew out of it. Hold on. Ugh. Let's try this again. But we're not just going to fling it this time. We're going to be really delicate and careful. <laughs> there we go. Everything's in. I don't know. Do people still lick the envelope? I never liked that taste. So we're just not even going to go there. Just going to tuck it inside. Call it a day. Bam. Card. And then let me go get the gift box. Uh, the basement so we can get this shirt let me show you guys this shirt because it's so cute well not cute because according to thomas cute is for puppies he's grown-ass man but here is the shirt so i was talking to him this morning on the phone and they had to do um pt and they did a ruck which for the non-military people is when they just go like hiking in the wilderness and whatnot. So they ended up doing an eight mile ruck this morning. And he started complaining about how like his lungs were killing him and his back was killing him. So when I saw this shirt in the mall, after I got my Chick-fil-A, it just seemed so appropriate. Back and body hurts. I was making fun of him that he's getting older so he can't just think that he can do an eight mile ruck like he used to anymore because he's getting old like if there was that movie with um what's his name Justin Timberlake you know the one where like when they hit 18 their little clock on their arm started to go and they had to like work for time whatever that movie is called if I can think of the name I'll put it down here like, his clock started. Now, all of a sudden, you got aches and pains that you didn't have before. It's what old age will do to you. But, okay, let me go put this in the... You bring the gift bag up. Put that in there. And then we'll sit the card underneath it. Or should we sit it on top? I don't know. The way the man, like, pressed this on here. Can y'all see it? It's got, like, bubbles in it. 
No wonder he put it in the bag so fast. But whatever, it's done now. I should have inspected it before I paid for it. Um, but for the like fifth time, let me go get this gift box. Here we go, here we go again. Trying hard, but you wanna be my friend. In a place to hide, in a one to run to. Here we go, here we go again. Come on, girl, wanna be it Happy birthday. How you feeling? Another day, another job. How's your back? How's your knees? I'm so good. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not the one who forgets stuff. Your cool. clock started. Your clock has started. I'm getting more, more time. <laughs> more time. It's blinking. I got more time. <laughs> What are you doing, sir? Always moving. All right, so it has come. The gift opening time. That your body hurts. <laughs> Thought of it as soon as I saw it. It was meant to be. It was just for you. <laughs> but isn't it fitting? Hell no. <laughs> I only, only got that when uh, I'm working out. <laughs> okay. The last good talk is good time. Wishing you all the good things. All day long, happy birthday. Time to see you all. Good. Good. Uh, look at the boys wrote that. I was in a rush. You were coming up the steps. Don't be talking about my penmanship, sir. Yeah.